let's just get into it. New game. All the stories mentioned in this game are fictional. Any resemblance to a biography appearance of real persons, I guess, is a coincidence. Unreal Engine. Step here. I have heard how my parents died. My brother this is beautiful. and I were sitting in a locked bedroom and could only listen. We heard the knife stabs until their screams stopped. Ooh. The police decided that our parents were accidentally killed during the robbery. I never believed it. In our neighborhood, no one had any money, especially immigrants like us. After a month in the orphanage, we were picked up by the only remaining relative in the States. A woman named Randolph. Oh my god. Medium, our grandmother. Our mom never talked about her and hid away her letters without opening them. I think that Mrs. Randolph thought that she cared about us. She taught us. I still remember rituals, prayers, and constant promises to reveal what happened to our parents. But later, it was always later. When will we be ready? My brother was the first one to escape. He joined the police force. I left her after. I, like my mother before, did not respond to her letters. They were just another promise to reveal some secret if I came back. When they stopped, Spooky. I sighed with relief. Finally. A local lawyer visited us shortly after. Grandmother was killed, stabbed with a knife. They suspect a robbery. The voices of my parents came back, and they are not alone. Hmm. Our town is eating itself. Death comes for our people, for my friends. I can't take it anymore. Grandmother was trying to understand what was wrong. She tried to tell us, and I'm starting to believe her. She solved crimes. She helped the police to find the perpetrators. I have to take her place. I have to go back to her house. Okay. Well, that's creepy and Ooh. extremely unsettling. Prologue, personal case. It is severely personal. This starts out fairly creepy. WASD to move, go to the table and take the documents. Use the left mouse button to interact with that. Oh my God, this house is dilapidated. Okay. So, left mouse button to interact. Oh, with this. Your brother is a police officer who needs your help. Every day he will send you a new crime case. Your goal is to solve it. You can use uh, divination rituals to uncover new clues. Once you find the culprit, fill out the report and send it to your brother. Solve the test case to convince your brother to accept your help. Okay. Because we have a case. Um, personal case. Uh, why did you come back? You've been watching this old woman go crazy through all our childhood, and now you want to take her place? What are you doing? Well, fine. Do you want me to help you? Then let's conduct a small test. Make an uh, invocation to the soul of the dead and tell me, oh great seer, which of the neighborhood kids broke my window? I'll send you a description of them, just like the ones the old woman worked with. If you find out who did it, then we'll talk. One of them committed the terrible crime a couple of years ago on December 14th at 1300 hours in 1902. I live on the first floor in an apartment to Meadow Street and don't think, don't even think about deceiving me. I know who did it. I just want to test you out. Objective, submit the culprit dossier and send clue about his location at 14th December 1900, 1902 during the crime. So it's a he. So we got Patrick, good, diligent boy, but he fell in with a bad company. He's a suspect. Okay. Zachary Morris lives in a workhouse neighbor uh, nearby. A very quiet and sullen young boy, Harrison Hawkins. It's the son of a single mother. He doesn't go to school, and during the day he works as a janitor in a bar. I appreciate his desire to help his mother, but this is not the place where a child should grow up. Andrew May, the son of the owner of a hairdresser salon, a very quarrelsome kid. And Jake, 
a very active boy, constantly running around somewhere and doing something. He has a great future ahead of him if he manages not to get into trouble before that. Okay. Go to the next room and find the ritual candle. Press F to light the path. Hmm. Uh, other divination can work while the ritual candle is lit. Light a candle by using instructions from the book. Hold down the right mouse button and take a closer look. That's not a candle. That's an in... Oh, wait a minute. The doors of all rooms are marked with clues. Find a room with a wall map. It has symbols and a compass. Oh my god, this is cool. Okay. Uh, in order to work the ritual map, you need to use the dousing rod. Press Q and pull them out. Place the file of one of the suspects in the stand. It's located next to the map. Follow the instructions on the book. We're gonna take Zachary. Okay. Press tab to find out the time of the crime from the case. Enter it in the calendar and use the dousing rod to check which of the guys was at the crime scene at the time. See the instructions book for details. This is interesting. So, I know it was 1300 hours on December. Yeah, December 14th. 1902. After finding the culprit, you may return to the hallway and fill out the report. Okay. So... Did I do it wrong? Nope. Oh, I need to uh, need to check out the address. So Meadow Street, Meadow Street. Oh. Okay, so he was there. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, he wasn't. But he was. What about this kid? Nope. Yeah, definitely that one. So, go to the hallway, fill out the report. Okay. So, we know he's the guy. Send it. Uh, don't worry, let me pick you up. And we'll go to a doctor. Wait, what? We're wrong? Okay, let's try again. I failed. We're gonna we're gonna give it a go again. <laughs> I fucked it up. I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to do this correctly. I I did something wrong. It is a thirteen hundred hour December. 14th 1902 so that part is right and it was at Meadow Street he was there how can this not be right press to have a find out the time of the crime from the case enter it in the calendar and dousing rod check which of the guys that the crime scene at what time see the instruction book for details So if if we change this to let's say Patrick, where was Patrick at? He was at Bedford. Yeah. And Zachary. Oh, he was far away. He 
He was there. And we know where Harrison was. He was he was right there. No doubt about it. Andrew. The fuck? Is that the rats? Where were he at? Number 10? Number 9. Okay. And Jake... Number five. Okay, so there's something up with this one, because... No, it that is the right location. So, after finding the culprit, you may return to the hallway. But that's the thing! That's... What? But that's the thing! Okay, submit a culprit dossier. A dosier. Oh, I forgot to put that in. That's why... Uh, send it. Her methods are working. Who would have thought? Well, okay. If you're so anxious to find out what's wrong with our town, let's work together. Nice. Gift from God. I was allowed to take part in a preparation for the major court hearing. On the outskirts of town at 18 Barnhill Street lies the Fulton Farm, home for a clo for a closed and deeply religious family. As it turned out, they were too religious. Earlier this year, one of them murdered their youngest relative in their own house as a sacrifice. All of the Fultons now cover the murder, but only one of them made the sacrifice. I don't even know who was in the house. Try using dow uh, dowsing to find the murderer. Send killers, dossier, send uh, his or her distinctive feature by using dowsing ritual on the victim. Send where the killer was during the murder. The time of death is marked in the victim's dossier. Okay, so Lake, Luke, sorry, Luke is dead. So I don't know much about Luke. I was, uh, I saw him a couple of times in the church, a calm and cheerful boy. It's a pity that everything turned out this way. Luke's father, awkward, absent-minded, every part of life is dis is dictated by his parents. I've always felt sorry for him, but even compassion has its limits. Alicia, Luke's mother, one of those people who can answer my questions with a quote from, from scripture. Our senior detective thinks that she is very sorry about what happened, but it seems to me that she is disappointed, not in their act, but in something else. Annabelle Fulton. She is convinced that she is part of the world's first family of saints. How she came to this conclusion is not very clear. Hmm. Conrad. The patriarch of the family. He was first he was he was first who told us a what? I think we're missing a the he was the first who told us about the ceremony. He compared himself to Abraham. He said that they gave their that they gave their uh, greatest treasure to God. I noticed that he often averted his eyes during the interrogation. It looked like he's hiding something. So he thinks the sacrifice was righteous. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go to the map. Yes. So, um, Luke. And when did Luke die? January 1st. Why does it say 1 8? 1 8? Oh, is it because January is the first month? Is that why it's looking like that? Okay, so if we go to Luke, he died at 11. On January the 8th. Uh, when? 
1904. Okay. So where did that happen? The it said they lived on Barn Street, right? Barn Hill. Barn Hill Street. 18? Yeah, 18. Okay. So he was there. That's fine. So now we need to know where the other were. The others. Uh, I was about to say, if it turns out that everybody was at the same location, that would have been weird. Number four? Okay. Alicia? Also at number four. Annabelle? Ooh. And Conrad. The fuck? So... He was there. Um... Okay. So, we know that Annabelle was in the house on that day. Yeah, we know that he was. We know that he was. Okay, so I need to go to the dowsing rot room. So that's not the room. That's not the room. Do I need to go upstairs? There's a basement? That one's locked. That one's blocked. Oh, that's just a... Um... Okay. Oh my god, this house is creepy. Is this the room? Ah, okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Okay, so place the victim's case on the stand. Uh, dowsing instructions. Put the victim's dossier on the stand. Walk around the house. Cross, uh, crossing off the rods will indicate the direction towards object. Find out on which object the rods inspect. Memorize the object and return to this book. If the rods are starting to rotate, the ritual candle has extinguished... Light it up. Find out the meaning of the item and mark the killer's features on the nearby list. I see the light is flickering, so... We might need to go and relight it. Uh, item meanings. Clothing, painting, book, fireplace, clock, spit, younger. Oh, that's the next line. The blade, toys... Candle. Okay. So I get it. I absolutely get it. Okay. So we need to find out where we're going. Okay. It is a clock. Okay. Wrong room. There we go. Wait, what? Oh, right. So it's a clock. Murderer is 30 years old or older. Okay, so age. Um, <laughs> so 30 years old or older. And we now know where they were. Can I see their age? 62, 66, 28. Yeah, but I kind of already knew that. Shut up. God damn Jehovah's Witnesses.
Okay, so... Whispers indicate that one of the mirrors has been opened. The dousing rod will point the way to the mirror and close it as soon as possible to get rid of an intruder. Now you're on your own. Solve the case. Features intrude clues. Oh, we can we can find uh, other stuff. Okay, cool, cool. Let's do that. Let's do that. Unless it's just gonna give me the same clue every time. Obviously that, that could be the case. Seems like it is the case. Okay, but I know it was the grandmother. I know that it was the grandmother. But yeah, right, it was the wrong date before, that's true. It was the wrong date. There we go. I heard some uh, I heard something terrible today. I just heard a woman blaming her husband for not being able to kill his own grandson. Annabelle had to do it herself to appease the voice of God. This case gave me an idea about death of our grandmother. The strikes of different people should be different, right? I studied the autopsy results of our grandma and found a couple of oddities. Each stab was weaker than the previous one. In the course of the struggle, such a, a clear pattern is impossible. The direction of the blows also doesn't match up. They are too similar and weird. Knife strikes are aimed at the chest area and the blade was directed not upwards, but downwards, but almost perpendicular to the body. Maybe she was killed in her sleep and the whole robbery was staged? If so, then someone was trying to disguise premeditated murder? Disguise premeditated murder. Who wished her death? I will try to find the last people who she spoke to. Hmm. Okay. Tough lesson. Tough lesson. Are you sure about, uh, are you sure everything's all right? I know that at night you're busy helping me and during the day you try to open new rooms in the house, but there's a limit to everything. Maybe your hallucinations with mirrors are just a reaction to a lack of sleep. Do me a favor and go to rest as soon as you finish this case. A local school teacher died of a heart attack right in the middle of the church. This case would not interest us if the headmistress of the same school had not died of a heart attack at the exact same hour. Do you want to know about another coincidence? The headmistress corresponded with the old woman for the last several years. Autopsy has shown that they were poisoned an hour before their death. Find out who did it. Send the killer's dossier. Mark where the killer was during the poisoning. It happened one hour before the murder. The perpetrator and the victims had to be in the same place. Send two of his features by using dousing rod, uh, dousing on two victims. Okay, so we have Aaron Kelly and we have Florence Barr. Tristan could have done it. Diana could have done it. Spencer could have done it. Molly could have done it. I think it's going to be Diana. That seems sus. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's start by finding out where they were. So... Uh, he died uh, at 1. So we're going to go for 12. And it was on January 28th. And where was he? Ooh, ooh, three, seven. Okay. And she was at seven. So they were at the same location. What about Tristan? So was he. What about Diana? No. 
I still think she's sus. Spencer. Spencer was there too. And Molly. Was there too. Okay. So. If we go one hour. Then. She was there. And he wasn't. He was still there. And what about her? Aha! She was at the house an hour later. Sus. And Florence? Where was Florence? Because they died in the same location. So that's where the church is, I guess. Oh, no, wow. They were not at the same location. Okay. Okay. So, uh, mark where the killer was during the poisoning. It happened one hour before the murderer. The perpetrator and the victims had to be at the same place. Yes. So we know that we're at Noah Road 7. So was Tristan. And so was Spencer. And Molly. So it has to be Molly or Spencer or Tristan. Okay, so... Oh, we need to find some defining features. Okay, something is up. It's a toy. Okay. So if it's a toy, what the? Stop it. So a toy means color of the toy shows the color of the murderer's eyes. Okay, so... Green eyes. Stop it. I was pretty sure I heard whispering. So, green eyes. So, Tristan has green eyes. Diana has green eyes. Spencer has blue eyes. And Molly has... So, it's Tristan or Molly now. We know that for a fact now. The level of sus. Okay, so we know that the eye color is green. So let's see, what can she tell us? Is something about... Is it here? No. It's in... Clothes. Wait a minute. Let's check it out. It's... It's a brown dress. It's a brown dress. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Brown, brown clothes. Clothes. The color of the clothing will tell you the color of their hair. I don't know if we would call it red or brown. I would say brown. His hair, his hair is uh, brown. 
Molly's is black. So it can't be Spencer. It can't be uh, Diana. She wasn't there. So... Ah, uh, we'll say we got it. Wink. No, wait. Needs to go here. Okay. So, it's Tristan. Because he was there. Because his eyes are green and his hair is brown. Mr. Kennick told the investigator about how the school treated his son. The teachers did their best to make him quit the school. This Irish boy should know his place and other nonsense you'll hear in old families. It all ended with the teacher persuading other children to beat him up. It worked too well and now this boy will not be able to walk. Mr. Kennick said that his son's future was taken away from him and he couldn't bear it. I won't say that I condone his decision, but I understand him. The connection with our old woman turned out to be a dead end. It turns out that she was an uh, she was in active correspondence, not only with the headmistress, but with several professors throughout the country. They discussed some scientific issues. I will study her letters and report the result later. Yeah. Nice. Day three. Working disagreements. So working disagreements blew up. Hmm. Seems like Aaron and Colin had a, had a spat. Okay. An old policeman asked us for help. He used to work with our grandma, but stopped after the police cut all ties with her. If we help him, he will tell us why. This interested me, so I decided to agree. The case itself is solved. Mr. Bones and Sailor dismissed from the Navy quarreled with his new employer over money and killed him during a scuffle. He threw the body into the basement of some abandoned house. Bones' confession is already on my desk. The problem is that the murder took place at night and Bones was drunk. And Bones was drank. <laughs> so he has absolutely no memory in which cell the body lies. The relatives of the murdered man asked to find the body for the burial, determine the hour of death, and find where the victim and Mr. Bones were at, this, at the time of the murder. If you succeed, this cop will tell us something new about our old woman. Objective, determine the location of the victim at the hour of, uh, uh, at the hour of death, determine the location of the suspect, at the hour of death. Okay. And what we know. Uh, we know the year. Great. Don't we have anything in bones? Oh, we do. We do. We do. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, let's just start by burning this. The wheel of Thanatos will help uh, find out the exact time of death. It is located on the first floor. We can't we can't get up that way. Oh, right, it's here. I don't need to get up. Place the victim's case on the stand. Yes. Follow the instructions from the book. Okay. So in order to determine the hour, day, and month of the death. Do the following. Make sure the ritual candle is lit and put the victim's dashi on the stand. Determine the zodiac sign of the victim by using the table on the next page. Okay. Um, turn the wheel than Thanatos to so that the black arrow points to the zodiac sign of the person. Zodiac sign. Okay. So determine zodiac sign of the victim by using the table on the next page. Do 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 do. Okay, so the key letter fire the first letter of the name, water. 
the last letter of the name Earth, the fourth letter of the name Air, the third letter. Okay. Find out the hour of death, a book about numbers. Interesting. Turn the wheel of Thanatos so that the black arrow points to the zodiac sign. Identify the key letter of the first name. To, uh, open the Chaldean table. Damn, this is this is complicated. Okay, so what information do we have? His date of birth is seventh July. That makes him a uh, Cancer, right? Yeah, it's a Cancer. I knew that already. So the sign of cancer is sort of the yin yang. And I know this because I am a cancer. Wait a mo. Where is it? That's a Scorpio. There it is. Cancer. Okay. So am I right? Determine the zodiac sign of the victim. Turn the wheel of Thanatos so that the black arrow points to the zodiac sign. Right. Identify the key letter of the first name. It depends on the element as described on the next page. God damn it. God damn touching mirrors. So, if he is... He's water, so it's the last letter of the name. Uh, But which one is it? Is it the surname or the first name? First letter... Of the first name. Okay. So, it is the last letter of his first name, which is Aaron. So, that's an N. Um, open the Chaldean table on the next page to determine the key number for the key letter of the first name. So it's an N, so that's a 5. Turn the wheel of the, th uh, the Thanatos so that the red arrow points to the key number. Okay. So that would be a 5. Light is about to die. It's a good thing that we got plenty of these candles. Boom. There we go. It's a bit of a complicated process, but I actually like it. I like puzzle elements. I like puzzle... Like the, the, the kind of puzzle element that makes you think is is cool identify the key letter of the last name it depends on the element as described on the next page the last name okay so if the surname has identical letters then the key letter of the surname is the last one if not then it is the first one and his oh Wrong button. And his name was Sharp. So P? Right? Oh, wait. It's the first one. If not, then it's the first one. So an S. And an S is a 3. Um, blue arrow on 3. There we go. Add the clue. Uh, add a clue using the calendar. Don't forget about the moon sign. The moon sign. The moon icon means that the death happened in the morning. The oh the. I guess that's a sun sign, and the moon icon shows that it happened in the evening. So you need to add twelve to the hour wheel. Okay. So it was during the night.
God damn it. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with you? Are you gone? Yeah, she's gone. God damn it. Okay. I did not hear it. So I guess I was, uh, I guess it was a little bit too late on that one. Okay, so uh, it happened during the night and it was at 12 of night, so that is zero, zero. It was on the first month. Oh, wrong. And the second day. So yeah, 12 at night. That's zero, zero. Add, oh my God, Russian. Cool. Okay, so now that we know when it happened, what now? Determine the location of the victim at the hour of... Oh, right, 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 right. We need to go here to the map. I like the way that this one um, plays. Like, this game is really interesting. Okay, so we know that it was at midnight on January... What was it? January 2nd. Yes. And he was where? And so was he. What the fuck is the breathing? Disgusting. There we go. Okay. So, um, the clues are... So, determine the location of the victim at the hour of death. There. Determine the location of the suspect at the hour of death. Send it in. Yes! Aha! We checked the place you indicated and found the body, so our new friend agreed to tell us about his work with our grandma. Previously, she has often approached, uh, she was often approached by local officers, and she helped him without any charge. It all ended because of the last case. She's found for them one particularly brutal gang, but they were released because of the personal order of Judge Brooks. The next day, all 12 criminals shot themselves. They say that the last of them was muttering something before his death. It was something about the voice of God calling from them, calling them from beyond. The police didn't work with the old woman after that. 